In this problem, the percentage yield is a single output variable measured for three different catalysts, C4, C5, C6, on four different days, D1 to D4. With the three catalysts and the four days, there are 12 possible experiment conditions, and we have one measurement made at each of these conditions. There are no replicate measurements made. We will analyze this using an ANOVA through a general linear model with the univariate yield data. The yield is the dependent variable. And to start with, we will just measure for the effect of the catalyst. Click OK. The ANOVA gives a p-value for the catalyst factor of 0 0.236, which suggests that there is no significant difference between the effects of the different catalysts. However, we will now introduce day as a second factor. And again, through analyze general linear model univariate data, we will now add day as an additional fixed factor. We will also plot these data values by clicking on plots, selecting day to give our horizontal axis with separate lines in the plot defined by the different catalysts. And we add and continue and run the ANOVA. The results of this analysis gives a table, but without any calculations for significance and no p-values. However, we see that the calculation has added an additional factor, catalyst times day. This is an interaction term which we will introduce shortly. But because we haven't any replicate measurements in our data, there is not enough data in the current table to perform this analysis, resulting in no output p-values. However, if we look at the plot of yield against day, here each line represents a different catalyst and we can see that the day appears to have a significant effect on the performance of the catalysts and there appears to be a difference between the different catalysts. So we will redo the analysis but this time we will define our model using the custom option and we will select just catalyst and day as main effects, but without any interaction. So we continue. OK. And now we find that the day is indeed significant with a p-value of 0 0.009, and that the catalyst is also significant with a p-value of 0 0.028. In this particular example, we are unable to measure the significance of an interaction between them because we have no replicate measurements in our data. The calculation does not have enough information to perform an interaction calculation. We will now look at a different problem where we do have replicate measurements. And in this case, we have a yield measured for just two different catalysts, C6 and C7, at three different temperatures. But we can see here that row one and row two are two separate measurements, but made with the same catalysts and the same temperatures. So these are replicate measurements. So at every condition, we have two replicate measurements. We will perform the analysis general linear model, univariate, yield again is the dependent variable, and our fixed factors are catalyst and temperature. And to start with, we will just look at the main effects of these two factors, catalyst and temperature, using the custom model. And in this case, we see that apparently for the catalyst, the p-value is 0.527, showing no significant effect. And the temperature 
p-value is 0 0.109, again no significant effect. So we will return to the analysis and go back to our model and we will include the interaction term of catalyst and temperature and we will include a plot where temperature will be on the horizontal axis and the different lines will be shown by the catalyst. And now that we see that the temperature does appear to be significant with a p-value of 0 0.026 and the interaction of catalyst times temperature is also significant at 0 0.030. We now see that the calculation involving the two factors and the interaction term has given us p-values and this is because our original data includes replicate measurements and with the replicate measurements the ANOVAR has been able to differentiate between an interaction term and random error. So in this calculation the p-value for the temperature is 0 0.026 now suggesting that temperature is a significant effect and also the interaction between the catalyst and the temperature is gives a p-value of 0 0.030 showing that the interaction is significant. We can look at this on the profile plot. The lines represent the different catalysts and catalyst C6 provides a yield which does not change significantly with temperature but catalyst C7 provides a yield which increases with temperature. So the effect of temperature depends on the catalyst. There is an interaction between temperature and catalyst. So returning to the table, the temperature is significant, the interaction is significant, but although the p-value of the catalyst of 0 0.343 is not significant, we would say that there was a significant difference between the catalyst by virtue of the interaction term with the temperature.